I have been craving Chinese food for the longest time, but I don't feel like calling in for delivery or paying the expensive takeout prices. I've got everything I need to make a soulful, flavorful, heartwarming bowl of lo mein right here at home. It's got pork, it's got beans, it's got carrots. You know what, let me just show you how to marinate it and throw it all together. You'll see how easy it is for yourself. All right, so to get started on the lo mein, I have a pot of water that's coming to a boil right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some fettuccine noodles in that later for those who want noodles with their lo mein. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the shredded cabbage that I've got finely shredded right here. I just, I mean, for me, the cabbage takes the place of the noodles, um, but it, it makes a wonderful, wonderful addition to the dish. Anyway, to get started, I have a wok that's preheated right here, and I'm gonna put just a little drizzle of olive oil in it really super hot and you can see how the oil is just sheeting right off of it i mean that's crazy hot right there so i'm gonna turn the temperature down just a little bit because we certainly don't want it to burn i'm also going to put just the tiniest little bit of sesame oil and i put just a little because it's very very strong it's really really super flavorful and it can easily overpower a dish if you're not careful with it so just a little bit is going to go in there let me rinse my hands real quick Okay, perfect. So overnight I had pork, uh, tenderloin chops that are marinating in soy sauce and honey and whoo, see, getting a little hot there. So anyway, my pork is marinating in soy sauce, honey, ginger, garlic, um, you know, just really, really amazing ingredients. Maybe just a little bit of sriracha as well. Um, so the pork has had a chance to go ahead and impart a lot of flavor, get a lot of flavor absorbed into it. So what I'm gonna do is just pour everything into this hot wok very, very carefully. Make sure it's off the heat because it was kind of talking to me. And since there's a lot of liquid in the bag, it's going to talk to you. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move it back onto the heat. There we are. Ooh, there's a little bit of lime juice in there as well. And I can certainly smell the citrus. Oh. This is gonna be something else. So it's a very easy dish and I did cut the pork into thin strips as you can see and it's gonna help it cook up really, really evenly and really quickly. So we're gonna let this go until it's just done. So the meat is starting to cook really, really well and I don't wanna overdo it just yet. So I wanna cook it until it's like just done. Our water is boiling so I wanna generously salt the water. There we go. Now I'm gonna add some of our fettuccine noodles. So this is, yeah, this is a pound of fettuccine. I'm not gonna make the whole pound. I think I'm just gonna go with maybe half of it because there's so many vegetables and other things that are going into this dish that the fettuccine is not exactly going to be the star of the show. It's not gonna be like the main component. Just a little bit of a, a sidekick, if you will. Just a nice little something to accompany. There we go. Uh, a little bit more, it's not quite half but that is perfect. All right, so our meat is cooking up really well. Let me get my tongs here for the pasta. As soon as the noodles start to bend, you're gonna know that they're ready for a bath in the hot water, and they're bending really, really well. All right, I'm gonna let those guys go for a minute. Okay, so from here, I wanna get my meat and just get it out of the wok really, really quickly. So I have a bowl set right here that I wanna just pour everything into, juice and all. There we go. Perfect, okay. So now from here, what I wanna do is go ahead and get these vegetables going and these are only gonna take a second to cook. So what I have in my bowl over here is I have my shredded cabbage. I have two nice long stalks of celery that I've chopped on a bias in nice little thin strips, leaves included, and the leaves give a really wonderful herbaceous quality to it. This is half of an onion that I've finely sliced, and these are like little pieces, two large carrots that I've cut into little matchstick sized pieces. So here we go. Turn the heat down a little bit. I want a little bit more olive oil, just like that. And now I wanna go ahead and put in all of my vegetables. There we are. I'm gonna give it a really super quick stir. So these will be done really, really fast. Oh. It's also picking up all those little bits from the pork, which is excellent. Hit it with just a little bit of salt. Nice. 
And let these guys sweat for just a moment until they start to soften up and become pretty tender. Do the pasta quick stir. There we are. All right. Oh man, I can smell the nuttiness of the sesame oil that was in the pan from earlier. I can still smell the ginger and the garlic from the marinade. And we're going to add all of that right back in as soon as we get these vegetables cooked. Okay. Now the vegetables I like to get really tender. The cabbage, because it's so finely shred, I mean it looks like angel hair pasta. I want it to keep a little bit more of its integrity and a little bit more of its natural crunch. So I'm going to add that at the very last possible moment. God. You know, this reminds me of like my favorite Chinese takeout, but I know it's gonna be so much better, so much healthier. Hit it with a little bit of pepper. There you go. Maybe a splash more sesame oil, just a touch. There we are. So we want to give it just a little bit more of a brown color, so I'm going to put just a splash of soy sauce, maybe a tablespoon's worth. That will do it right there. Now remember, we don't want to overdo it because that marinated pork is still coming back into the pan. Are you getting hungry yet? Yeah, me too. This is going to be so worth it. So amazing. All right, so now you can see the vegetables have softened up because they've wilted down a little bit. The onions are nearly translucent and these celery pieces are really soft. All right. Crank up the heat just a little bit. We're gonna let this go for two more minutes. And then we're gonna add our pork. Meanwhile, we're gonna give our fettuccine a nice stir. You see how these guys are boiling along? And they're just chilling, doing their, well, they're boiling, doing their thing. Not much chilling going on on the hot stove. There. All right. Now I think it's time for the pork to come back in. So marinade and all. Everything's gone in. And we're gonna let this boil and go for about five minutes. All of the veg has completely mixed in with the pork and there's one ingredient that I did forget about and that's the whole green bean. Now I don't have fresh green beans so I'm gonna use the bagged ones. I'm just gonna grab a generous handful and put them right in. And yes, I know they're frozen, but that's okay because I do still want them to have a little bit of a crunch. So just as the beans are warmed through, I know it's gonna be done. So get a few more. That's one of the best things about these kinds of dishes is that yeah, there's a lot of vegetables in here, but it's so fresh and it makes you just, I mean, it makes you feel better. It gives you that really great fresh element that we oftentimes crave and we don't even know that we're craving it. We just, we know we need it. It's one of the things that makes Asian cuisine just so amazing and wonderful too. Not only just the, the great flavors of the ginger and the garlic and the sesame oil and everything else that they put in, but it's the ingredients, the freshness of the produce. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's no wonder it's one of my favorite things to eat, my favorite cuisines. So we're gonna go ahead and let these beans just warm right through. And I'm gonna cover this up for about three minutes and that way the steam is going to go ahead and get those beans just to the right consistency that I'm looking for. Okay. All right. The beans have nicely warmed through. They're tender. They're perfect. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in my cabbage. And this is a quarter cup. I'm sorry. This is a quarter head of cabbage that I've just like shredded really, really finely because I really love the texture that it gives. I mean, it mimics the noodles so beautifully. So I don't want this to wilt down completely. Uh, I do need another spoon though. So what I want to do is just get the, the residual heat that's there in the pork and the rest of the vegetables, vegetables and even in the sauce to go ahead and warm up the cabbage and just kind of wilt it down just a tiny bit just to soften it up. 
There we go. All right, so we're mixing all of this together to get it really well blended, to get that cabbage down in the sauce, that ginger and garlic and soy sauce and honey marinade that we made. Put drums on the wok. All right, put this guy aside for a second. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little slurry that's gonna thicken up that sauce. And I do that by taking um, about a maybe less than a quarter cup of water right here and a tablespoon of cornstarch. And we're gonna make a slurry and then pour it in and that's gonna make our sauce thicken up really well and stick even better to the meat and the vegetables and even the pasta for those who are eating fettuccine. Okay. Give that a tablespoon of cornstarch in cold water. That'll work, all right. That's because I didn't have a proper measuring spoon, but it's okay, because like it makes nice, thick, creamy slurry, just like this. And this is a great thickener, a really great thickener that's found in a lot of Asian cuisines that makes the, the sauce nice and viscous and really hearty. Okay, open this up. Little corn starch stuck on the spoon there, but that's okay. Here we go. And we just go ahead and pour it all on. All right. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together too. All right, so as the cornstarch slurry heats up, you're gonna see the marinade, the liquid, the beautiful sauce just thicken as well. The cabbage looks like it's at the right consistency. The leaves are not firm. They're still soft, but I can tell they're still very crunchy. See this guy right here? I still feel a crunch. I still hear a crunch. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. I'm going to grab a fork because we always want to taste our food and season it up the way that we know it needs to be done. Or at least to our liking anyway. It's very good. It does need a pinch of salt. A little bit more black pepper. A little bit more, a little bit more. Pepper. Another drizzle of sesame oil, very, very lightly, just to kind of finish it off a bit. Okay. And I'm also gonna put some hot chili oil on it as well, but again, just a tiny little, little bit. Just one there we go. Perfect. Ooh. Chili oil. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna my hands real quick. Give this a great stir to get all the salt, pepper, sesame, and chili oils mixed in. Amazing. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and kill the heat here. We're gonna kill the heat here. And dinner is ready to be plated up. All right, cool. So let me get a bowl right here. And this is gonna be for somebody that wants the fettuccine noodles. So I'll just go ahead and put the noodles right here into the bowl straight from the pot. Ooh, there we go. Just like that. It doesn't take very much because, I mean, look at how much we have in here. This is crazy. I'm gonna get a nice giant helping of pork and cabbage and veg and just put that right on top. another bean on top right there that piece of cabbage goes in wonderful all right all right so now for the true test let's see how this works okay so I get some cabbage onion celery carrot and this tiny little guy bite of pork right there mm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, this is so much better than the lo mein that you can get at any fast food place, seriously. You can make it yourself so very easily. It's cabbage, it's carrots, it's celery and onions. It's a little bit of green beans, some pork, even chicken if you want. Soy sauce, honey, sriracha. I mean, it's really super simple. You can easily make this out of things that you already have in your pantry, in your cabinet, in your refrigerator. Just look around and put it all together. So from my kitchen to yours, try this out. Super simple, anytime dinner, full of flavor. This is gonna make you want to crave it. This is gonna make you want to eat it all the time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and find somebody that wants the fettuccine noodles and maybe I'll luck out and nobody will want it and I'll just keep it for myself. So until then, subscribe for more ideas, for more recipes, for more awesome, authentic, eating the right way. Here you go, guys. Bon appetito.